I think for me it's performing. You get to express yourself through movement, which is like a different thing than you do every day. Even if it's like a short dance, you can like show yourself to the audience. The main lesson like I've learned from dance is that you can always be better than what you were yesterday. We all desire to tell a story. We all desire to have a story. And I think that's something beautiful about theater because you get to create a beautiful story. You keep pictures of people you never even met in your wallet instead of pictures of me. I think it's good for them because it's allowing them to create order out of the chaos of their creative impulses. Hey! Oh my God! That's what it is to be human, to figure out how to, to figure out how to tell your story. Acting is about being in the moment and being authentic. They were digging in the rubble for their children. Learning about yourself and truly knowing who you are is really what characterizes how you act. So acting is really about who we are as human beings. Who you are, what you believe in, I have to love somebody who's going to love me back before I die. The things that drive you and motivate you. But no one asked me to dance! I think it's the excitement when they get something. Technically, artistically, um, performance-wise. And to see them thrive in such um, an environment, especially when it's nurtured. You know, when you have a teacher who's excited about teaching. Oh, yes. At the Hanover Theatre Conservatory, we are striving to provide our students with a variety of classes across the performing arts field. So they're not just coming in to take an acting class or to have a private vocal lesson or to take a ballet class. They're able to be exposed to a playwriting class, to stage combat. And in addition, something that we're really excited about is technical design offerings that includes lighting, sound, um, costume design, many classes that you wouldn't typically see until you get to the collegiate level. There's nothing quite like this in Worcester, and I think we needed this. It's exciting with all the different artists and dance teachers and acting to work together. For me, art is communication, right? So I think having a balance or having um, all of the arts intertwine with each other is wonderful. The arts are really this opportunity to kind of like open your own mind, kind of expand your horizons, expressing yourself and kind of putting yourself out there, taking healthy risks. At the conservatory, it's not about age, but it's about the study, it's about the focus in what you want. And for me, this changed everything. Now I react easier, I listen more, it's, it's great for me. We concentrate on having students delve into what they like to do, you know, what their world is about, what their challenges are, the things they're passionate about. <laughs> There's an element there where some children who might not be successful in an academic setting can find a spot in the arts, whether it's drumming or ballet or theater work, that could give them a, a chance to be something special. And I think all artists know that they have to continue to grow and adapt and, and learn new skills in order to, to continue in their career. And this conservatory experience allows for that. Very was the word he used. I'm very interested in you. I think what's special is it's all different like artists. There's actors, musicians, writers, and they're all like expressing themselves through a different way. So I think that's special about the conservatory because it's not only one thing, it's everyone. You know, there's probably no other job or occupation in the world where you really can get that close, intimate connection to other people. Be art, whether it be dance, whether it be music, whether it be theater, we're all striving for excellence. But here, it's all embracing. 